When investors consider adding closed-end funds to their portfolio, what should they keep in mind? Well, I mean, the, the most important thing is to understand that a closed-end fund isn't really an asset class, it's a structure. So you have to make sure that the actual fund, its strategy, fits your overall risk exposure strategy and is suitable to you. That said, I think I'd look at uh, a fund that's uh, trading at maybe an attractive valuation, so a little bit of a discount, uh, and that's got an attractive yield on it, and that the yield is sustainable. When adding a closed-end fund to your portfolio, you really should consider the return and risk characteristics of that fund in two ways, on its own, but more importantly, what it does to your entire portfolio. One of the benefits of having multiple kinds of assets in your portfolio is the low correlation that is potentially there between two different asset classes. And in a portfolio of assets with low correlation, you can smooth the return of your portfolio. I think the biggest focus for closed-end fund investors in, uh, in 2017 uh, should be where does it fit in an income portfolio. Um, for example, in munis. Closed-end fund munis do have some more duration risk than the typical muni portfolio on maybe a mutual fund or ETF side. But with that, you get a lot more income. You know, I think at the end of the day, closed-end funds are really offering a lot of different strategies to investors and they're not always realizing that. There's a lot of moving parts. I think that's the one thing people don't always realize. It's not just a discount. In fact, you shouldn't start with a discount. You should start with the opportunities for either the strategy or the cash flow or both.